chef, just desserts <laughs> thing. Technic yeah. food. Hi, so we're planning supper club and we are trying to cook ethnic desserts today. So we did some intensive Googling and we found a couple results that look promising, Louisa. Okay, so we have decided that we want to make tiramisu and Mexican brownies. So tiramisu will reflect the Italian culture and Mexican brownies will reflect the Mexican culture. Obviously. We're really excited to consider global importance yeah. of our cooking. And learn about culture reflected through food. Mm -hmm. and we're, we're taking on a new challenge. Yeah, like normally we don't bake, well sometimes we do, and this time we're doing that. This time we're doing like a just desserts evening because... Just desserts. That's like Top Chef just desserts. <laughs> okay. It's so much better than normal Top Chef. <laughs> so the challenge is going to be for us to make desserts. <laughs> that are good. That are not cake, because we already made a cake. We are, we are considering the ethical implications of adding icing to the Mexican brownies because we are altering an ethnic food. And we're not sure if this is okay or not. But we really want icing because yeah. it's delicious. Yeah. And also we got tart chocolate icing, which is the best guy. So, so it's not like we'd be like altering the taste of it too much. No, it'll just be more delicious, basically. <laughs> But it's still like a very important So we're enhancing food. the culture. Like, this is not how all people might see it. I think it's ethical. Personally. Yeah. So we're gonna do it. And I was okay. right. Because I'm always right. I'm always right. No. Except when I'm right and you're wrong. Well, we're usually both right. We yeah, just agree often. Yeah. So anyway, what were we talking about that was relevant? The reason we're having this supper club a week late is that I was gone last week college touring on an unanticipated week-long trip, so we weren't able to complete it for that two weeks of the month, so we're doing it early this week, in this early month, in April. So <laughs> what? So what Kara is trying to say is that in this two-week period, we will be having two supper club meetings instead of one, because we missed our supper club meeting at the end of last month because Caroline was going on an unanticipated week-long college trip. And then we're also already planning an initiative to next week when we will have the summer club meeting, the first one of April, at my house because my aunt will be here visiting from Brazil and so she'll teach us how to make a Brazilian dish. It's and gonna be awesome. <laughs> so that's our story. These are our cooking ingredients. This is whipping cream for tiramisu, I think. This is kosher salt, which apparently you need in Mexican brownies. I don't really understand. This is some kind of spice that I can't read. It's cinnamon. Ground cinnamon. This is chili powder for our Mexican brownies, which are going to be spicy and delicious. And this is butter. This is frosting, which we already ethically implicated earlier. That doesn't make sense. This is cocoa powder. This is mascarpone cheese, confectioner's sugar, lady fingers to put in the tiramisu, and eggs. Alright, this is our tiramisu that we are beating until it is smooth and thickened like fluffy cream. And look how much it looks like it! It looks awesome! Okay, Yay. Yay! And here's our pan that we're about to... Wine with lady fingers. Yep. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Bring it over here. Okay. I'm gonna take this the pan. Okay. <laughs> oh, that works. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Take a really long time. And we're supposed to use half of the mixture to do this. Look at the challenge we overcame. We have a very small paintbrush. Because we did not have an actual pastry brush. That stuff smells exactly like tiramisu. It's amazing. Ta-da! It's cold espresso from Starbucks plus white rum. Let's do one even layer and see how much we have left. All right, so this is what we're going to be doing. For a while. Yeah, a very long while. It's a great challenge. Okay, so Nicole would like to share her challenge that she ruined everything with. <laughs> so her weakness. I think we identified for her because we're gonna collaborate. So we covered it with the cocoa or the um the our coffee concoction. And then I skipped over the mascarpone mixture. <laughs> Which is this, <laughs> not the coffee mixture. I thought we were supposed to add the cocoa. So we already added the cocoa, but we were supposed to add this first. So now we have a problem. So I guess we'll just put this over the cocoa. Okay. Let's we'll we'll have a lot of cocoa, in conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
We're making brownies. Yep, I'm adding the vanilla extract. To the butter and sugar and eggs, we broke one. We did break an egg. It was kind of my fault. But we persevered. <laughs> Starting is really exciting. I've never made brownies like this. Like I've always used brownie mix. <laughs> Nicole thought we were using brownie mix for this. The brownies just got out of the oven and they smell awesome and they look delicious. So we're waiting for them to cool so we can ice them. What you doing? I'm icing brownies. It's gonna be yummy. <laughs> Nicole just told me to put a little more and Louisa just told me to put a little less so I didn't change anything. <laughs> we thought it was a good compromise. Yeah. What you doing? I'm icing brownies. It's gonna be yummy. <laughs> Nicole just told me to put a little more and Louisa just told me to put a little less so I didn't change anything. <laughs> We thought it was a good compromise. Yeah.